I guess probably square, isn't it? Nope, that wasn't it. There's got to be another way to jump off this and... That's quite creepy that, like, that skeleton just walking back and forth with a sword. Whoa, okay, that was a... Uh... Oh, I'm probably going to die, aren't I? I'll just be honest right now, I'm probably going to fail this climbing a, th a climbing attempt. No, okay, right, where did I... I'm not managing to grab onto this thing. Ah. Mate, wait, wait, what is this? What does this thing do? Okay, put the guns away. I just want to check something. How do you operate this? Surely there's a way to operate it. Okay, it looks like that guy's just standing there. I don't know what... If he's an enemy or what. No, I don't know where the... Okay, there we are, right. Finally managed to grab onto it again. That skeleton is a. Uh... Oh, there's two of them. N oh. I'm dead. Oh well. Well, that's that over. <laughs> well, that was quite poor on my part, but oh well. That was too many of the last revelation for you, everybody. That was an absolute fail, but what can you do? <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to actually reset this. Okay, so I can't press start and select on it. Just wanted to double check that. I believe, is that all the demos that I've played then? Let me just check the, the disc here. I think it is. Alright, so I just got the videos to go and that's at the end of that demo. So I just got to sit back and just watch some uh, preview videos, which will be fun. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, there we are. Okay, so, yeah, okay, so Jimmy Wise 2, cue ball video. So what does this consist of? It says here, the top video footage of the polygonal whirlwind uh, Jimmy Wise cue ball. This is probably a snooker game, isn't it? Well, I mean, well, it is, because when you walk cue ball, it's a pretty obvious giveaway on Jimmy White, so, yeah. Awesome. Awesome development, development team, I would present. Jimmy Weiss 2 cue ball. Oh, this looks like it's on PC. Okay, that's that's already um false advertising there. Well, maybe not false advertising, but that's that's PC gameplay, you can clearly see that. Okay, that's a bit uh, freaky right there. Just hands there, just playing cue ball. <laughs> Didn't expect that to happen, but. Okay, what? Why is there a bee flying into the, the hole there? Okay, that was random. A bee flying into the. What? Oh, I got pool there. Oh, so it switches to pool, so it's not just snooker. I think I play pool a lot more than snooker. I mean, I think I enjoy pool a lot more than snooker, to be honest with me. Although both of them are really good. Alright, Jimmy Weiss 2 cue ball coming soon. The most random moment of that video was, uh, well, that bee flying into the hole. It's like, why? 
I'm not sure if that's a feature of the game, if the bee is meant to be, you know, collecting the ball, and I'm like, what has that got to do with anything, though? Oh well, whatever, but anyway, next video, or the last thing on this demo is Gran Turismo 2 video, and I believe the next demo consists of a playable demo of Gran Turismo 2, so I'm looking forward to seeing what the, the video contains. I remember they were hyping up Gran Turismo 1 so many times on the past uh, demo discs. Like they showed like so many videos of it in the early stages. I think even after the playable demo they were still showing videos of it. I think Gran Turismo is probably, well, I think it is probably the top selling game I think on the PS1. Like the first Gran Turismo I think, if I remember correctly, I mean I, I, I might be wrong now, I mean that, that might have changed. Uh, Gran Turismo uh, might be the top selling game on PlayStation 1 at the moment, but I'm not sure if it is. Gran Turismo 2, I'm not sure where that stands in terms of uh, rankings of the uh, best selling game of all time. But looking at the game right now, it looks uh, pretty good. Speaking of Gran Turismo, I'm not sure if they're going to announce a 7th Gran Turismo game at this year's E3. I mean, a lot of people are predicting that that's going to happen. I mean, to be honest with you, I'm not, I won't be entirely surprised if it does happen. A Gran Turismo 7 at E3. I mean, that'd be quite cool to see, actually. I, I don't know if it's going to be, like, if the graphics are going to be similar to Drive Club. More than likely, they will be. I don't know what the game's features will be, though. See, I don't want, like, Gran Turismo 7 to just be, like, another, like, you know, another Drive Club. I just want Gran Turismo to just be Gran Turismo. That's the thing that I'm worrying about about Gran Turismo 7. It's just because of uh, Sony's uh, like exclusive like Drive Club for, like, for the PS4. I'm not sure if the Gran Turismo 7 will be very very similar to Drive Club. I mean, it might be, but I hope it'll just be well Gran Turismo as it is. Speaking of E3, I mean, uh, how do you guys feel about E3? I mean, uh, what are you hoping to see at this year's E3 in terms of, like, uh, Sony? I mean, to be honest, what I'd quite like to see is, well, Gran Turismo 7, like I mentioned before, plus more gameplay for Uncharted. That's the one thing I'd quite like to see as well. Since that's been delayed until Spring 2016, Uncharted 4, for uh, PS4, since that's been delayed until Spring of next year. I'd quite like to see, like, some more gameplay of it at this year's E3. That's what I'd like to see. And... I'm not sure what else I'd want to see as well, either. I'm not sure what else comes to the top of my head. I mean, I think I mentioned, like, in, in my Let's Play Until I Fail session of, Assass uh, of Assassin's Creed 2 Sequence 3, I did mention about the new Assassin's Creed game coming this year, Assassin's Creed Victory. I mean, that's going to be coming uh, later this year. And we'll probably uh, have more of that being showed off uh, or shown off at E3 this year. It's the same with it because I remember like uh, Activision just recently revealed, I think it must have been this week, uh, uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 3. And it's got a futuristic setting, so it looks uh, quite interesting. I'm not really a big Call of Duty fan. I mean, just to be, uh, just to clarify that, I'm not really a big Call of Duty person. I mean, it's. I used to like, like the old Call of Duty games, so the Call of Duty game that I really liked the most was Call of Duty 4, believe it or not, and that was like back nearly 10 years ago now. The other ones are just like, eh, it's Call of Duty, that's what I'm just like nowadays. I do enjoy playing it with other people though, I mean, like, you know, like split screen and stuff like that, and like sometimes online, but I don't really play that much games online nowadays. It's just because I'm just too busy with like, you know, college work and stuff like that, and just doing other things, it's just... Online gaming, although Star Wars Battlefront is uh, definitely something that'll make me come back to online gaming. I can assure you that right now. Because I know that that game is going to be coming out before Christmas this year, and uh, it's definitely something that I'm really wanting to uh, ask for for Christmas this year, so I'm pretty, definitely keeping that in my mind for this Christmas. As far as it goes for other things, a lot of people are saying, like, uh, some people are predicting that Perhaps, no, this is a perhaps, maybe that, and to be honest, I don't know if this is going to happen, but we'll just need to wait and see, but some people are saying that Crash Bandicoot, Crash Bandicoot could possibly come back at this year's E3, but you see, like a lot of people, I'd rather wait until an official announcement is made, because I don't really want to believe all these rumours going about of a particular franchise coming back, only for it to be completely ruled out at a particular event. So... 
As far as it goes for Crash Bandicoot, we'll just have to wait and see what happens about it. I quite like for Crash Bandicoot to come back, don't get me wrong, but it's just I'd rather wait for an official announcement to be made. But I'm not expecting it this year's E3. I'm probably expecting like maybe a God of War announcement, but to be honest, I don't know if there's going to be another God of War game coming out because uh, they, well, they, well, Sony recently announced that God of War 3 would be well coming to the PS4, well remastered version of God of War 3, which is pretty cool. I didn't expect them to make that announcement for God of War. I'm trying to think what else could possibly be good at this UC3. I don't know actually. Wait, what, what do you guys think? Uh, please let me know in the comments below um, about your thoughts on this UC3 event. If there's anything you'd like to see at, at this UC3 E3 event, please comment down below because I mean, I quite, I'd be interested to hear your thoughts. And and going back to Activision, uh, I know that they recently announced as well that uh, they've brought back the Guitar Hero franchise. Not that it means anything to me, I mean I don't really play Guitar Hero but I just thought I'd point that out. They brought back the Guitar Hero franchise because well, they want to compete with uh, well, rock the new rock band that's coming out as well. But it doesn't really mean anything that much to me, I mean it might mean a lot to some others who did play Guitar Hero back then but it's just, it wasn't really something that interested me, Guitar Hero. I'm not sure what you guys think of Guitar Hero as well, I mean comment down below for your thoughts on that if you wish to do so. And so far, I'm just talking about the video here for Gran Turismo 2. It's pretty impressive. Like, well, maybe not graphically wise. I mean, PS1 graphics is, impre is graphically impressive. I quite like the drifts that the, the, this person made when they were uh, demonstrating the video here. Is that the end? Because, I mean, there's only one lap for each track, I think. Yep, it looks like the end, I think. Yep, I had the PS3 go in there. Yep, that's the end of this demo, uh, folks, so uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, please feel free to like if you enjoyed PS1 Demo 52, and uh, I apologise again for this being split into two parts, but because of technical difficulties, it just had to happen. I mean, well, I had to like uh, create a second part for this, so I will edit that Spider 2 demo out of the first part. So, I hope you all understand, and... Please feel free to comment down below uh, for your thoughts on this video and the topics I talked about as well, like E3 and Guitar Hero and stuff like that. And uh, please feel free as well to subscribe for more content coming up on my channel. Until then guys, this is Game here signing off. Uh, have a great day and I shall see you later. Until then, goodbye.